Nine rebounds. Also had three blocks against Kansas. That was his best game thus far. Town steps out, and Seth, all-time leading scorer in his high school, outscored those two guys. That's pretty good. Jumper and there, and then about guys who were, you know, big time. But Chris Lewis was number 68 type recruit. That's pretty big. Town thus far in the game, he's coming off a 25-point game. Another three. He's got some. He's got some real confidence. Nothing. Nothing shakes him. Backdoor cut, and Town. Amaker signaled for a timeout, and nobody saw him. And Town. They're so talented, and things haven't necessarily gotten rolling downhill, but they have so far early here. Henry Welsh picked up. The season high is 11. He's an average just a tick over four and a half. Now Seth Towns with the between the legs dribble. It's Harvard's given it away 15 times as well. Seth Towns too. looking inside to Lewis. Haven't seen a whole lot of him today. At least haven't called his name that many times. But Lewis and Johnson on the floor for the Crimson. Barry sits there. Johnson right and Knight. Too easy for the big guy from Penn. Welsh 44 in white on the floor. Giving a breather for Lewis. The excellent big man for Harvard. Next weekend at Quicken Loans Arena, it's the NCAA Wrestling Championships Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. You can catch that all across. He has really well. He's got tremendous win, and he's physical and strong throughout the game. Even when he's tired, when he, well, I think he's tired. It doesn't seem that way. It doesn't seem... No space for town. Taskett backing away, the freshman. Three seconds on the clock. Towns a contested shot. He can make the easy play, the smart play here. Just six to shoot off the inbounds. Towns with a deep three. Kansas. Used defensively, which is not common. That's where they've hung their hat all season. Off the window. Fun. That's a good mismatch in one. Towns has to take the shot, and the fadeaway go. Big red salad in the oh! mid to man, and he's just working harder to not let Lewis get the ball. That's a big key to keep it out of the post. One to shoot, Towns from three. When you're seven to play in regulation. Harvard's right now shooting 58% in the second half and 71% from conference. That's a level that both teams are looking to reestablish, and that's why they're the number one and number two teams in the conference right now. Seth Towns, the other end. Towns bringing that right arm swipe. Towns back to work, draws the foul and scores. He goes by Bassey, his pass intercepted by Seth Towns. Towns coast to coast to the basket. Eight, it was seven at halftime. Harvard saw that lead swell to as much as 14. Towns, the hesitation, and the mid-range jump was a seven-point to lead. Johnson flips it back, Lewis gets it poked free, six to shoot. Towns lines up a three, and swish. Continues to play precision offense. Harvard with some great ball movement up top. Bang. Both teams play very physically, defensively in the low block right now as... Towns will spot up from the... Bryce Aiken are two of the lower-rated guys in, in that group, 98-99. Basket um, of the game for Terrence McBride. Terrence McBride's been a great passer, and that occasion he was the recipient of a great pass. Oh, Ten Davis, now it's going to be at least a bonus. It's going to be a bonus situation both ways uh, the rest of the way. Towns working... Now that is our sixth tie of the game. It's 10 of 17 now from the from the field for from the free uniforms with light blue trim lettering and color. Here's Bassey setting up Towns for a good look from beyond. So set Towns who leads the Ivy League in scoring in league games, going to work again and Nedlish off the curl, no good from downtown. Mike Smith off the bench. Set Towns finds open games. So they've got their three-point shooters in now. As Bassey goes to work on the baseline, out to Towns, and he connect. Wanted a carry called against Juzang, who was dribbling right in front of him. Towns wide open, and he makes he's six seven. And showcasing his length right there again. Back in the starting lineup, to start second half. I think that's a good idea by Jim Engel. He's got to get him going. And it be. This has been the matchup all night. 
Towns off the dribble and connects. They've made Harvard use up a lot of time on the clock to get into their offense. Ten on the shot clock. Towns goes reverse. Count Harvard. Towns leads the way for the Crimson. And Towns going to work. Eight point lead. Towns gets the three. Pass it left side to Juzang. Juzang dribbles off the Lewis screen. Gets it right side. Towns for three. It's good. And a quick this one. Fair stay in the man to man. Towns off the screen. Top of the key three. And it is 11. Here's Towns. Baseline jumper. Is good. Yeah, of course. Now it's passive. There's Towns. Pull up jumper from the free throw line is good. How smooth to one. Here's Towns on the right baseline. Goes by a Coley reverse for the lay in. Sweet. Yeah. Here's Towns with the basketball. Here's in the zone. Takes it in, puts up the runner, and hits it with. Down low they go to Lewis. Lewis finds Towns cutting to the hoop. He's fouled, but scores anyway. Now Towns up top with it. Going to take a long three and knock it down. Wow. Here's Towns. Going to take the three, and he knocks it down. Towns guarded closely by Cho. Takes it by him, by DeWolf, and lays it in. Johnson to Haskett up top. To try the three, and that goes down for Seth. Towns. Now that's to Zhang. Justin Bassey and Chris Lewis for the Crimson. A triple teamed in on Lewis. That leaves Towns open. Towns looking up top. Working against Miles Wright. Went right by. He, he, shooting just 40% for the game. Guess who's feeling it though? Team wearing black. He's got the ball right now. Pull up. Good. The shot clock off the foul. Seth Towns wants three. Towns for three. Good.